way, some good news. Um, there are a bunch of stories out about DEI dying. Uh, the DEI is, um, is, you know, whether explicitly or implicitly being de-emphasized by corporate America, that it's become toxic, that uh, with, the, with the resignation of gay, of gay uh, at Harvard, a lot of companies are wary. They're wary of offending their customers. They're wary of offending their shareholders. Uh, now, it's true that in some cases, it's just going to be, it's just going to be a change the name um, and uh, the same policies will be there, but they'll just change the name. But even Axios, kind of a leftist publication, has companies are a, 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 a headline, companies are backing away from DEI. Uh, and, and you can see this, but, but if you search on a, on a news, uh, one of the news aggregators, if you just search DEI, you will find many, many, many uh, news stories right now about how everybody is moving away from identitarian framework for hiring. Blackstone, uh, you know, which is the ESG, uh, poster child has moved away from ESG. They are now focusing on hiring for, quote, social economic diversity. And they're changing job requirements to find more diverse talent without targeting a specific race or ethnicity. This is Forbes is reporting this. Uh, sorry, Fortune is reporting this. Um, they're talking, companies are now talking about wellness and inclusion rather than DEI. Uh, they're starting to look at other ways to uh, do work without, you know, they're, they're finding ways around the uh, identitarian uh, conceptions. Uh, talking about employee experience or employee wellness or all kinds of other stuff. Now, again, part of this is your DEI by a different name, but part of it is DEI has become toxic. Part of it is the whole identitarian project is by many people found upon. And I think that uh, in this sense, the, uh, what do you call it, the critics of DEI, uh, conservatives uh, and others, uh, uh, you know, left center, uh, uh, old style liberals, that people are critical of identity politics, that are critical of identitarianism, a winning. I know Scott doesn't want to hear it because the last thing in the world he wants is for the left actually to lose because then how would there be no identity to his group? They, their only identity is that they're anti the left. But the left is losing these battles. They're losing the battles for the mainstream of America. You see this in so many votes we've seen over the last few years, where when these issues are on the ballot, they always lose. And you see it now even among the elites, where, you know, with Harvard and Penn and uh, Blackstone moving away from ESG, you're seeing that people are coming to the realization that you know, maybe we need to find a different way. Maybe we need a, a, a maybe we need to soften this, or maybe we need to move away from it completely. A lot of companies, if you remember, moved into the DEI space as a consequence of uh, the George Floyd and uh, the whole Black Lives Matter. That's old news already. That happened a long time ago. News cycle has moved on, and the good news is. I'm not saying it won't resurrect itself. It could very easily resurrect itself. But for now, at least, there is real momentum, momentum that needs to be capitalized on. There's real momentum in undoing a lot of the damage ESG and DEI have created within corporate America. And that's all good news that we should cheer, <laughs> despite the fact that some people don't want good news.